October 11th, 2020. How's it going, guys? Well, guess what I've been doing today? Check this out. <laughs> Went down to the boulevard this morning. Got downtown about three-fourths of the way up, probably about half the way there off 13th Street. And this radiator hose started leaking. Started spraying everywhere. So I had to come back here and get another radiator hose. Now the radiator hose to replace this radiator hose didn't take very long. Pulled the other one off in about two minutes. This one on in about five minutes maximum. Because you want to make sure that like if you're doing that, you want to make sure you get take like a light wire brush, clean any adhesive that they have off. Most of the time, the plastic radiators that they have pretty much anymore, they don't have no adhesive on that. They'll sometimes have up on the aluminum block, they'll have sometimes some adhesive. What I'm doing right now is I'm making, this is probably starting now, let's see. Yeah, it's warming up. Hold on, guys. I'm waiting for the thermostat to open up all the way on this because if there's air in these, basically you can get like air pockets. A lot of cars in the early 80s had a bleeder valve you could bleed. These cars like this, you pretty much you can just run them. You turn your heater on though. When you start this, you turn your heater on because a lot of the cars have valves that shut off between the hum summertime and the wintertime depending and it will set the heat going to your heater core off basically the antifreeze flowing through that it'll stop it so you turn that on make sure you turn your heater on no matter whether it's wintertime or summertime if you're having to replace your antifreeze that'll get that fluid up flowing all the way through on all of it anyway that's what I'm waiting for right now another thing we might talk about just real quick is this antifreeze they make two different kinds and this of course this takes a g05 kind on this suzuki but what i was going to say to you guys you can either buy stuff that's already mixed up or concentrate my suggestion is to buy the concentrate because you get more for your money's worth yes you do have to measure it out you have to use the get your funnel go to like the dollar general dollar tree somewhere like that get your little funnel you can do that, or O'Reilly's, or anywhere. And um, like I said, get a measuring cup. Remember, one quart, it takes, you wanna cut this in half. There's basically four quarts in here. Drop it down to two quarts in there, and then add the other two with distilled water. Now, if you don't have access to distilled water, if you filter the water out, if you got a filter on your house, you can do the same thing. Ooh, that's getting hot now. That's opening up. That's good. Because that tells me that thermostat's opening okay. And we look down, you see that fan, it's going too. Now on this car, this initial startup, usually this fan will go first. That's the main one, that will come in second. And then this one usually stops afterwards. But that's what I've been doing today. So, anyway. Something else I wanted to suggest to you, everybody. Since the way everything is, and the way, you know, this, these UV rays and all the kind of stuff that's been coming in here, seems like things deteriorate a lot more here lately. Even the flags over here, I don't know if you can see my flags, guys, again. They've actually, I'm gonna let that warm up just a hair a minute more. These are, I only put these up two months ago put these up two months ago and these are already I don't know if you can see that or not they're starting to fade now look in two two and a half months starting to fade that's weird that means we're getting a lot of UVC in here plus no telling what else so anyway guys but I was going to say, deterioration of other things here in general is getting fall. You might want to check your uh, radiator hoses. Now, when I first bought this car four years ago, basically, I had to put a water pump on it. At that time, when I did the water pump, 
it's just a smart thing to do when you do a water pump you're, or you put a radiator or something on just replace the hoses then i replaced the hoses four years ago but these things have in four years this upper radiator hose had went bad now the smart thing would have been to do is to replace that bottom one i haven't replaced the bottom one yet but i did replace the top one today i wanted to get the car going again down the line i'll kind of monitor watch it see how it's doing this upper radiator hose is a little bit thinner than that one down there it's got it's got to carry a lot more too plus it's exposed to a lot more heat up here than down there so that does make a difference too guys anyway anything else uh remember when dealing with antifreeze like i say i lost almost pretty much all mine remember antifreeze is poisonous to animals and stuff so make sure if you catch the antifreeze if you're draining anything dispose of it properly and like i say anything else make sure you flush it down with water flush it down with water it'll dilute it just let everybody know so anyway guys oh yeah it's getting hot hold on guys all right guys i'm back i got my temperature gauge here let's check out the battery see what's going it's really about 97 degrees over here let's see what this antifreeze is running and we're running about 156 160 it's not bad for that 2.3 and it's opening so yeah it's not bad anyway guys just a short video like i say also another tip you guys might want to know think about too on your tires in the fall winter a lot of people don't realize these tires here these little grooves here stop you on wet pavement if those grooves disappear even though if you got tread here a quarter inch or a half inch thick where i'm putting my finger right now the thing of it is you won't stop i had a z28 camaro and uh, i found that out way way back it's like well why these tires look like they're real deep but they it was sliding all over everywhere when it got wet so it's another thing in the fall here guys to check out because who knows what the weather's going to be like this season so anyway, just some information, have a good one.